Welcome to Last Week with Emily Dammit. Today, we're going to talk about how someone that was banned from Twitter a few months ago still managed to get themselves trending on Twitter. No, I'm not talking about Wiley. I'm talking about a white blood, racist, homophobic, right wing, anti mask, no, not Donald Trump, woman, no, not Katie Hopkins. I'm talking about Ireland's very own Gemma O'Doherty. Finally, Gemma has been arrested, and you would think it's because of her racist, homophobic, right wing speeches or breaking the COVID 19 rules that was in place by the government. No, no, no. Last week, Gemma managed to get herself trending on Twitter as she recorded herself getting arrested for refusing to give her name to the guards after challenging officers that were removing her banner from a flyover. Really? I thought Gemma was invincible to the Irish guards. In the video, Gemma is quick to pull out a phone to record the guards as she gives us a dialogue of what's going on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. 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 Accusing the guards saying they were causing criminal damage, calling them gangsters, Gemma then proceeds to ask for their number. I think Gemma is into bad boys. No, not them bad boys. If you wanted to get the guard's number, you are going about it the wrong way. The way Gemma was acting and talking towards the guards, I thought to myself, if this happened in America, she would have been shot. Then I realized, oh, she's white. The officers asked Gemma for a name, whereby she replied by saying, You won't be getting my name and address. I think every officer in Ireland knows Gemma's first name, last name, address, PPS number because she has cases in every area codes. 